So you've been brought up with music since you could crawl, you've been in a variety of groups, and now you've made it, finally, on your own. Is this what you've always strived for? Yes, definitely. That's, uh, that's what I've always been in the state in the business for, is to make it. Just to be number one. Yeah. Everybody should be number one at least once in their life. <laughs> now that you are described as a superstar, much as you may hate it, are you enjoying being treated this way? I don't like... Uh, special liberties and things like that, special attitudes that people take. You know, after you make it, they think that you're going to change, so they look for it, and I haven't changed at all. You know, and people, they tend to look at you and say, oh, hello, and then they're looking, how has she changed, you know, and everything you say is under a, a microscope, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I don't like about it, otherwise it's great. Mm -hmm. How come you ended up playing bass? Because you know a lot of instruments, don't you? Yeah, I do know a lot of instruments, but... I play rock and roll. I'm basically a rock and roller, and bass is the sexiest instrument there is. And rock and roll is sexy. I believe, too, you have one of the biggest basses going. Mm -hmm. It's the heaviest. It's, uh, there's only three of its kind. And I've got one of them. And one, one guy uh, in Detroit bought one of them, and he took it back because it hurt his back. <laughs> And you handle it. Yeah, and I can handle I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm so short that it distributes the weight. I don't know. How come you made it in England, not America? Well, Mickey brought me over here. And I recorded here first. And I've just been here for the past few years. It's a nice place to be. I've, I've gotten a bit of the English influence, you know, instead of just strictly yank. You did a bit of sitting around when you first came here, did you? Yeah, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And are you writing very much at the moment? I'm writing quite a bit now. I've got seven tracks that I wrote with a guitarist on the next album coming out. It's a debut album. Are you happy with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Like a little kid. Where do you get all your energy from? I don't know. <laughs> I've always been, ah, you know, really speed freaky. Maybe it's because I'm a German, I, I don't know. Uh -huh. How long do you think you'll be able to keep it up for? I mean, yesterday was your first day off for five months. Oh, but I'll keep it up forever, because uh, this is the only reason I'm tired. I mean, I'm not even tired today. I'm still like that. Yesterday, I, I was very, very ill and nobody could get me to lie down. I, had, I, I compromised, I stayed in one place, but I sat up. <laughs> I don't have to like to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Be an invalid, it's a drag. Indeed. <laughs> do, do you and Mickey, most your manager, have a sort of long-term plan mapped oh, out yeah. for you? We've got a good plan mapped out. We've, we've spent two years getting to know each other, you know? And he knows me and I know him. It's, it's a very, very, very good situation because he's never once, the whole time I've known him, asked me to do anything that would be stepping out of my character. What do you think you will do to sort of maintain your position at the top? I mean, so many people make it, and mm. a couple of years later, that you never hear of them again. Well, this is all down to the artist's abilities, isn't it? You've got to be able to... Okay, so I've made it on a rock and roll song, and a boogie, and et cetera, all the others. So I've got fans now, and they like me for that. But what you've got to do is all grow together, I think. You know, you start here and you meet, and they like you for that, and then you sort of go like that and blossom out, just like, just like the Beatles and the Stones did. Um, my father's a musician. He plays accordion, violin, bass, organ, piano. Right. He's a Dago. <laughs> and uh, when I was about seven, he taught me how to play the bongo drums, and I used to go to his gigs. Do you think that sort of background is going to affect the way you think now? Definitely. Yeah. That's, uh, it tends to make you not think so much that the business is like a fantasy and a dream come true. It's more like the fact that you know that you can do it and do it well, so it's your job instead of the way like a lot of performers go off the deep end, you know? Like they really think that they're gods and they're not. So I think it's given me a sort of stable view of being able to do my job and do it well. It's, shouldn't be uh, something that you go around bragging about all the time. And you think you'll be able to keep that up, keep your ego under control? Yeah, definitely. I'm not an egotistical person that way, anyhow. Never have been. I like my job too much. <laughs>